What's up, Savages? PAX East is this weekend, but more importantly, it is 67 degrees outside. 60 fucking 7. I'm going from 67 degrees to Boston to where it's like negative 40 and snowing. Fuck, priorities. But anyways, if you guys are going to PAX East, Smite, aka High res will be having a booth. We'll be letting you guys play Xbox One Smite as well as the new PC Smite. Uh, and by new PC Smite, I of course mean the map, uh, the new map. It's fucking beautiful looking. But anyway, since I'm really excited, I decided to kind of hook you guys up with a little bit of uh, predictions. Uh, I haven't done them in a long time. So we're going to start off with Halo, then we'll go into Call of Duty. Backtrack, rewind just because I can. Every Sunday of an event, uh, how it normally goes is Halo is played, Call of Duty is played. When both of them are played, I throw one up on the one monitor one up on the other monitor and that's it then i form my expert opinion based on the six games that are played or six series if you will so we're gonna start off with halo here and i'm gonna do this a uh, little bit backwards number one yeah right first place team at pax east is going to be clg no doubt in my mind it's counter logic gaming clg features ogre 2 ogre 2 has been winning championships since before esports was ever even a thing ogre 2 is not only the most winningest player but he also turns the fuck up when it comes to a main event and you always always give that guy credit if everyone if anyone doesn't predict ogre ogre 2 as the as the winner of this event then you're not a real halo fan and you're pretty much fucking delusional you're just fucking delusional. I don't care about past results. I don't care that EG won. I don't care that Denial won before that. Fuck you. All right? This team should win. Snakebite and Royal 2, they're by far the best two players in the game. From what I've seen, they are by far the best two players in the game. You're talking about two guys who are losing games and dropping 45 kills? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? That doesn't even make sense. At all. Two 40-plus bombs and... You can't win a series? What? Comes down to practice. I understand. They're not going to have to worry about it. Ogre 2 will carry his own weight to be on par with their competitors. Number two. Number two, number two, number two. Hmm. You know, I was thinking about it. And a CLG EG rematch would be pretty fucking hype. But so would a denial matchup. And I hate to say it, but I. There's like this chance that like straight could make it like that far. Um, but no, I don't really know what's going on with straight. But uh, the one thing that's weird is that I actually found myself sticking up for T squared in that whole Zeke thing when I read both sides. Uh, that guy's a fucking T squared's like a marketing whiz. That's what he's always excited about. But anyways, I um, second place, I'm going to go EG. Uh, EG, this team, when firing on all cylinders and just kind of in general, is really fucking scary. It's very, very terrifying. Um, this is probably one of the best squads I've ever seen since Instinct 2011. Um, the main, the main reason, kind of before this, is uh, it's it's Lunchbox and Roy, the twins, right? They're one. They're super fucking good at every single video game they ever touch, which really pissed me off that they never switched over to Call of Duty or switched over to any game because they would have excelled at it instantly but they don't enjoy it they enjoy halo so fucking salute but but the big factor here that a lot of people miss out of the gameplay and this is just kind of what i've seen just from the rotating povs is that the dynamic of lethal and snipe down is it's actually beautiful so lethal is pretty much reminds me of a shockwave lethal is shockwave i i, I finally figured it out i was watching it and he's fucking Shockwave from 2006 and 2007. You have this just weird, overly aggressive asshole who just does whatever he wants, and then to bait him is me. Or Snipe Down. Snipe, Snipe Down is playing Halo 2 Anniversary exactly how I would have played it. Uh, like, if I was still good, I would have played it just like Snipe Down. Sit back, be passive, bait the fuck out of my dumbass teammate who just is always rushing. And the reason why Lethal always rushes, rushes by the way, is because he doesn't fucking miss. He's just that good. Uh, so, the, the team dynamic's really good. I just, 
my gut tells me that Ogre 2 is going to win. My mind tells me Ogre 2 is going to win because I've dealt with it for so fucking long. But EG, it's going to be a hell of a series. That's 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 what I put my money on. So when CLG defeats EG in the winner's finals, winner's finals drops down to loser's finals. Loser's finals will be... It'll be denial. Mickey Pooh, I love you, man. You finally stopped sucking dick. The biggest problem that denial's going to have is to see if Mickey Pooh actually doesn't fucking psych himself out, right? I, I could see the gears turning in his head when they went to the player cams that, you know, he won an event and then he was there and he had this extra pressure and his confidence kind of increased, right? He, it looked like he increased his confidence, but he didn't increase his in-game confidence as well, right? So it, it, it's a weird dynamic. Normally what happens is, is you win an event, you're still like, you know, a gamer, you're still chilling, and then in-game, you just get a little cockier. But Mick Wynn has always been hyper aggressive, but it just seemed like he he didn't have that same feel. It, it's it, he wasn't taking the challenges as he normally takes, and I don't know, it was weird. Um, but the one thing that you can know is that denial as a squad is really really good. Uh, these three, these three, in my opinion, if it if it wasn't for these three, I would never enjoy watching Halo Two Anniversary uh, due to the copious amounts of downtime at every single event and everything else but the, these three make it really really worthwhile so other than that uh if you are at the pax east booth or if you are at pax east stop by my booth i'll be giving out shit and stuff that you want my xbox one friends <laughs> uh, but as always i love you but i don't love you take